Hi, everybody. Vern Lundquist along with Clark Kellogg exclusively for CBSSports.com. We're in stores, Connecticut, where this afternoon the Connecticut Huskies came from eight down at the half, a 15-0 run, and they defeat Texas by 14. Reaction. Stupendous effort wow. at the defensive end of the floor, I thought, in the second half. And Jerome Dyson was really the catalyst. He got a couple of steals that led to five quick points, and that eight-point deficit was right away manageable. And then his brilliance continued. Kimball Walker had a great second half. Robinson was good, but it was the defensive intensity that really turned this thing around, I thought, for, U for UConn. You know, last week we were in Michigan. They beat UConn and went, out, went on the road and lose their next game to Wisconsin. What does this do for UConn defense? Well, it's a terrific win, but you always have to keep it compartmentalized into one game because you have to go out and duplicate what got you this win in the tough rigors of the Big East. So it's a wonderful win because it's out of conference against a highly ranked, very good team on your home floor. But at some point, you have to realize it's only one. It's an important one. And we've got to continue to grow and get better as a team because we still have more work to do if we're going to make the NCAA tournament and be a very good NCAA tournament and team. The obvious question is for Texas. They open with 17 wins. They've now lost two in a row. They've got to fine tune what they do offensively, and I'm sure they will. Final score 88 74. UConn wins it. That's all for now. For Clark Kellogg, I'm Vern Lundquist. For continuing sports coverage throughout the week, it's all at CBSSports.com.